sometimes parents need a break. Said it. Parents need a break. And one of the great ways to do that is an all-inclusive vacation. It's a perfect way to truly relax, not worry about additional expenses once you arrive, since all of your food, drinks, and in most cases, childcare is included. Keep watching for my five favorite all-inclusive resorts for families. Okay, real talk. It's been a long two years. There was quarantine, and then it was longer than we thought, and then your kids, distance learning, then your kids went back to school, but someone in their classroom was exposed, so then you can't go, and then you, all of this craziness, you don't know what's happening from week to week. You need to rest, relax, refresh, and what we believe here at Showcase the World Travel is that the whole family should enjoy vacation, not just your kids. You should get to enjoy it too, and that's why we love all-inclusive vacations. So let me share my five favorite resorts. There's the Hyatt Ziva. I'm going to talk about the Cancun property here, but there's also properties in Jamaica and in the Dominican Republic, but the Hyatt Ziva is a wonderful chain. The one in Cancun is all-inclusive beachfront. It's a beachfront resort on the most beautiful strip of Punta Cancun, and it's framed by the Caribbean Sea. Throughout the day, there's poolside activities for families, water aerobics, basketball shooting contests, water volleyball, all those sorts of things. And kids ages 4 to 12 can enjoy the kids with the Z, because it's the Ziva, um, club with planned activities like beach time, pool time, arts and crafts, game, board games, video games, all those types of, types of things. There's also an awesome kid pool there. Um, there's an adult only property that is right nearby as well. So if you're traveling with grandma and grandpa who want a little bit of break, but will also want to help you, they can stay at the sister property. Club Med Punta Cana. I love Club Med so much. There's additional properties here as well. There's Misha's, which is also in the Dominican Republic, Cancun, and then Sandpiper Bay, which is in Florida. So if you don't have passports for your kids, you can still enjoy a all-inclusive experience. But why I love Club Med Punta Cana is because of the circus school. Um, super fancy features here. It's situated just 10 minutes from the airport. It has the circus school, which is put on by Cirque du Soleil. Stunning play ground has five zones for creative play and adrenaline packed stunts for older kids. Children can spend their vacation learning how to become performers and acrobats, aerial skills, bungee trampolines. Oh, so, so, so cool. Plus you get all of the other amenities of an all-inclusive resort. You have the kids club, you have water sports, recreational activities, all of those things. Um, Punta Cana has some really great family rooms where you can have different sleeping spaces. And what I love about Club Med is that their child care starts at six months. From six to four, you do have to pay for it, but it's like $300 for the week and you can have them in from eight to five. So definitely an expense that's worth adding on. If you do have those younger children, Club Med is the best option. Um, if you are traveling with toddlers, check out this video that I did on some of the best all-inclusives for toddlers. All right, now let's jump over to Jamaica. Um, there's the Hilton Rose Hall, which is a wonderful getaway. Um, it's 400 acres. This all-inclusive family resort offers something for everyone. You can spend the day playing by the ocean, experience adventure in the Sugar Mill Falls water park, or relax along the lazy river in an inner tube. They have a kids retreat with supervised activities for ages four to 12 in a teen zone with console and table games. Um, another great option is in St. Lucia. I actually went back and forth. Um, there's two great St. Lucia properties in Coconut Bay Beach Resort. Squeezed out Windjammer on this list by just a little bit. It's on 85 acres, two worlds in one. <laughs> essentially along the exotic south coast only five minutes from the airport splash is coconut bay's family friendly wing with colorful rooms they face the ocean they overlook coco land which is the largest water park with a large activity pool lazy river and exciting water slides and then there's a fully supervised kids club with 500 thousand square feet of indoor and outdoor play areas with a splash pad expen um, expansive pirate ship the pirate ship is actually really cool a petting zoo petting zoo and indoor playrooms for babies yep 
babies at Coconut Bay too. They have childcare starting younger as well. Um, the other, th we mentioned Club Med offers that as well. The other three all start at four. So last one in Barbados is Turtle Beach. It's an, ele it's an elegant hotel property. Um, lively atmosphere, gracious hospitality, spacious accommodations, which I know is so important with families, complimentary non-motorized water sports, along a white sand beach, <laughs> which is great for families. It's a great, great beach for the little ones. Turquoise waters, you know, sand, very sandy beach, so you can walk right in and out. And it's only, a, the the resort is a little bit off the beach, but the beach is just, it's easy, easily accessible. It's not oceanfront, is what I'm trying to say. It's easily accessible, really quick walk. And what I love about Turtle Beach are the spacious suites. Their suites and villa properties are, make just sleeping with your kids so much more comfortable. Well, there's a designated children's pool and then kids activities here actually immerse them in the local culture which makes it educational as well as fun if you want more options I do have a blog post with with about uh, probably another three to five um, all-inclusive resorts and you can just click that link below and I'll bring you to that blog post for more don't forget to take a break from the busy